Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look into how to use a marker or a picture to scan and spawn a game object through it as you see on your screen. As you see a spider is spawned on this Spider-Man's picture and is doing a little jump animation. This is a beginner's video and if you're new like and like what you see, hit the like button and please subscribe. Uh, let's get started. In Unity Hub, first let us create a new Unity project in the version 2020.1. I'll call it AR Image Tracking. So this is the project. I'll quickly adjust the width and height of the game display to make it a portrait. So now as the project is initially created for PC, I'll switch it to Android. You can switch it to iOS as well if you're building for Apple devices. Click on the platform, in my case Android, and press switch platform. Now we need to import certain packages. So I'll find the package manager tab. Just in case you don't have this window visible, simply click on the window on the top ribbon and there you'll see package manager. A tab will be added like mine if there wasn't any package manager tab initially. So here in the package manager window, if you see the small arrow on the top, you'll get these options as Unity Registry, which is all the packages that Unity offers. Then in project, which means all the projects currently present in our project and others. For this video, we'll go to Unity Registry. Now we need to find out uh, required packages. So if you try to find AR Foundation, click on the down arrow on the left and see other versions. Try to locate version 3.1.6, expand the window and you can see the install button. Click install, so that's done. Now for the Android devices, we'll install AR Core. So click on see other versions and search for version 3.1.8. Click install. And now on the for the iOS devices, we'll install AR Kit. So click on see other versions and search for 3.1.8. Click install. Please remember to stick to these versions to work. It's more like a combination lock sometimes with Unity. Not all versions work with each other. So the versions which are reliable to work have been installed by us. Now press the scene tab on the top to see the scene view and adjust the game window better. Now in the hierarchy on the left of the screen, you see a game object called main camera. Delete that as we will be using a pre-built AR camera that came with the packages we just imported. Now placing your cursor in the hierarchy window, right click and select XR, AR session. This is the most fundamental component of the AR scene. Then again, right click and select XR, AR session origin. As you see on your right, AR session has two default scripts on them and AR session origin has a script and which has a camera in it. That's the AR camera as child to the AR session origin game object. The camera has the necessary scripts on it to work. Now on the AR session origin game object in the hierarchy, select that on the right in the inspector panel, click add component. Type AR tracked and select this AR tracked image manager. This will configure what images to take in and what model should show up when the camera looks at an image. In the bottom, in the projects tab, next to the two folders scenes and xr right click and hover over create and folder call it prefab double click to enter and again right click then xr right at the bottom and reference image library hit enter to keep the same name if you click on this new file we see in the right panel there is a button called add image Click that and you see input fields for a texture name and specify size boxes. So to add an image, I'll create a folder in the assets folder and call it texture. I'll just drag and drop the Spider-Man picture I took from the internet. 
Now going back to the, to the prefab folder and single click reference image library file, we'll select Spider-Man image by clicking select in the box and choose our image. The name populates automatically. However, I'll specify the size as 0.1 meters by 0.1 meters. And I wish to keep it the texture at runtime so take this checkbox now save scene and go to AR session in the hierarchy and you can see again the AR tracked image manager script on it in the serialized library you can drag and drop the reference image library file in the prefab folder we just created so that's been taken care of now the maximum number of moving images I'll just keep it one just to keep things simple then now we need to track we need a tracked image prefab so let's get something interesting here so what i'll what i'll do is go on the asset store tab and click search online here in the asset store search for a free spider so the spider called animated spider uh, download by clicking on this blue button open in unity in my case because i already did once in your case it might say add to my assets go back to unity it should automatically show up now expand the window and import the asset by clicking import and then import again. Now let's go and check the spider. In assets, go to PB spider models, drag the spider in the hierarchy. We'll adjust a few things. In the transform section on the right, change the scale to 0 0.015 in X, Y and Z. Uh, double click on the spider to zoom in. Now, if you see the spider in the bottom window, it has an arrow. Click to expand and see what happens. As you see, it, it's got a few mesh files and also the animation files, including the jump file which you saw in the beginning. So here, you can see the preview. Now extract this jump animation by pressing Command D for Mac or Control D for Windows. Now, for making this jump animation work, a quick way is to right click in the bottom window here and select create and then animate a controller. Call it spider controller. Select the spider and drag the spider controller in the controller field. Now select the animation animator window. If you don't see click on the windows animation and animator. Here in the animator window, drag the jump animation and then the entry state will snap to the jump animation automatically. This is a real quick way to do it. Then click on the jump animation and toggle this loop time checked on the spider so that it loops, loops through the jump animation. Now that's it. Let's make the spider prefab so that we can use it anywhere in our project. Drag the spider and click original prefab. Now delete the spider game object from the hierarchy as we have saved the prefab. Select the AR session origin game object in the hierarchy and drag this new spider prefab in the tracked image prefab section of AR tracked image manager. I think that's it. Save scene and click on file build settings. Add open scene. Click player settings and then go to resolution and presentation. Select portrait. Then try to build by click file, build settings and build and run. One minute, uh, a few things. For AR to work on Android, you need to a minimum API level of Android 7, so select that. Then also in the graphic APIs, remove Vulkan by selecting Vulkan and clicking this minus sign. Now go to build settings and build and run. There it is. As you see, I have a Spider-Man image and the spider is spawned on the image even if I move the iPad. This is how you can create a little AR experience without writing any code. That's it for today. If you like my work, give it a thumbs up, subscribe as I'll be posting Unity related videos 
possibly every week and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you and peace